Greetings PC Gen enthusiasts. This is Andrew Data Monkey with PC Gen. Uh, doing a follow up broadcast for a user request. Uh, apparently, uh, when I did the class uh, building, um, everything was already pre placed, so we didn't have something to go with to see how we do it in raw format. So I've got a uh, class that I actually have to go in and make sure is up to date, anyways. So this is um, the Arcane Juggler by uh, Nighthawk Publishing uh, for their um, Alcastia campaign source. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, take this Arcane Juggler and uh, I'm going to update it here uh, into PC Gen. But I'm just going to use our default uh, nothing here to, uh, to begin with actually. So let's go ahead and just save this file so we have our nice highlighting. Wondering why it's taking so long. Everything doesn't want to respond for some reason. Alright, so we will just call this class list. And of course, whenever you're doing a proper source, it's usually the source abbreviation followed by what type of file type it is. Uh, so for a class, I want to start off with class. When it highlights like that, that's lets me know I've got the right syntax. And this is the Arcane Juggler. Now I've also blown up the text so it's a little bit easier to read. Someone was saying that it was a little blurry on their end. Hopefully this will alleviate that a little bit. Alright, so the hit die is a D6. So I come over here. HD is hit die. And we simply put 6. And that now tells PC Gen to uh, roll between 1 and 6 or whatever setting you actually have it on. This is a prestige class. So let's go ahead and call that type prestige. Um, and let's see here. Going down here. Prestige classes have requirements. So I'm just going to copy this over. And I'm going to make a second class line, arcane, juggler, and then paste the requirements there. So I'm going to change skills to pre-skills, and it's actually pre-skill, and there is only one skill that I need to qualify for, so I put a one and a comma, and it's perform juggling. And I only need eight ranks and you don't need to have the ranks underneath, and that is a proper skill right there. And then pre feet. I have two of these that I need to qualify for. So lightning reflexes and magical aptitude. Now this should be nice and red, so I'm going to actually go in here, go into my preferences, my syntax and highlight. Color, no, that's column markers. Uh, syntax colors. And we want the pre-X to be red. You can actually come in here and change all of your other things in here and uh, assign them as you so desire. So now my pre-skills are red. And we come back. The Arcane Juggler gets all of these skills. So our standard procedure is to have a new line start skill PTS for points and it says they get six plus their intelligence modifier. PC Gen already figures out the intelligence modifier so I just leave that as is. C is a shorthand for the class skill. And then I'm going to paste that into there. Now I really don't like the uh, the commas because we need to get rid of them. So we come in here and we will just for this selection replace all of those. That cuts down what I need to fix. And get rid of the stat abbreviations at the end. And then craft is a grouping of skills, so I'm going to tell it 
type craft and remove this any at the end. And let's see here. Just clean this up as we go along here. And this is pretty much the slow way of doing it. But and then our skills actually we use the capitalization. Profession is, an else, is another group, so type profession. Perform is also another group, so type perform. Okay, and now that is our basics right there. Uh, so I'm actually going to start a new file. Go and save that one. Let's make a new file. Let's call this our abilities or ability.list. Like I said, you can name it whatever you want, but we definitely want to know it's a class or an ability. And I'm going to grab in here and I'm going to just take that and I'm going to put that in here. Now, if this is a homebrew, feel free to leave all the text in there. If this is a book that we're doing for a publisher and they haven't given us permission to include all the text, because remember our, uh, our policy is we do all the mechanics but we leave out the fluff. So you'd have the weapon and armor proficiency show up, but then we would, um, we would remove the little fluff here. Go to the next page. Uh, let's see, it looks like a 3-4 progression. So it starts out at zero and we end on a seven. There's only ten levels. So we'll come back into our class. Uh, max level is ten. We want to give a bonus to our combat. And this is going to be our base attack bonus, or BAB for shorthand. CL is class level times three divide by four. We do type is base and we do a replace. That's this common practice. I wasn't around when they came up with that. And since we're already here, let's go ahead and get our bonus checks in place. Base, fortitude, base, oops, that's a period after base, reflex. And the reason why we do the base is that actually um, reflex where it's going to show up. If I don't have the base, it shows up underneath the bonus or magic section. Base um, denotes that this is coming from a class. And so when it does the breakdown, it, it's nice to know where things actually stand. Okay. So this has a good reflex save and poor fortitude and will save. So I'm going to come in here And we will just re simply remove the reflex, put it over here. And we'll check here. Yes, my reflex is going to be the good one. We'll copy this over here just to save my little work. So class level, divide by 2, plus 2. And that's your good reflex. We'll remove the extra period that was there. I took the wrong thing. Luckily, mistakes can be dealt with. There we go. Base reflex. And for our poor saving throw, it's class level divided by three. I'll go ahead and save that. And then we're back at the ability section. Now this shows you the progression here. And if you want, you can go ahead and just grab all of this and come down here and just paste it in there. And we've already figured out the BAB and all the saves, so I can just come in here. Ability. And depending on how I want to do this, I can either do this the easier way, make that special ability, 
or I can make it class ability or the arcane juggler class ability if I want to display it on the uh, user interface. But for most purposes, this is sufficient right here. Ability call, discuss special ability, and it's going to be automatically granted. We're just going to come through here and we're just going to copy that. I'm going to paste all the way down the line here. And I'm not worried about what any of this stuff over on the other side is. I'm just going to set this up. This is what I like to call my bulk editing period. Where you just get the foundation in place and then you uh, work backwards from there. Okay. So I want to take my King Juggler. And that little tilde, because we like to uniquely identify all of our things here. Deflect arrows. Arcane juggle by the arcane juggler. Juggle tumbling. Juggling throw. Rapid load. And it looks like juggling throw, if I were to highlight this, I've got this, so I know I'm going to need a variable now. I can get rid of these extra ones. Juggling step gets improved. We get an arcane door. Juggling tumble looks to be repeated, but there's no pluses after it, so we'll have to look at the um, thing. And then we got the improved arcane juggle. So we'll have to look at what that's doing. So for the most part, it looks like all of this below here is not going to be needed. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to replace all my commas. Selection with pipes because that's the proper format. And juggling throw is repeated above so for three. Let's do bonus bar juggling row 1. And we'll see it repeats 5, 7, 9. So I can actually go let's see here class level minus 1 divided by 2. And we'll just encapsulate that and that will give me at 3 becomes a 2 Divide by 2 is 1. So at 3rd level I'm getting 1. At 5th level I'm getting 2. 7 is 3. And then 9 is 4. So that's how you can do a formula to speed that up. So all these juggling throws, we can go ahead and remove those now. Now we have the improved arcane juggle. So let's go ahead and look ahead and find out what the improved arcane juggle is all about. So we get special techniques. Chooses one of them. So this looks like it's going to be an ability pool. So the arcane juggle. And let's just double check on here. Read this here. So that's not going to be a pool that we have to worry about. Oh. So we're going to do an ability or a ability pool here. We can either name it the same thing or we can call it selection or whatever you want to call it. And let's go improved. And juggle count. We're going to define that variable at zero. And then let's just figure out when we get this at level two. So at level two, we're going to do our bonus variable. And then how often does it appear on our screen here? So 4, 6, 8, and 10. 
So this is simply class level divided by 2. And the juggling tumble. I don't know why that's there twice, so let's go ahead and figure out where it shows up. Juggling tumble. Now it doesn't specify whether it gets this bonus again, so this would probably be, um, might be a typo or something. So we send a little note to the publisher and go, hey, we just noticed this. So I'm going to go ahead and grab all of this right here, at least at this point, and I'm going to copy it into my abilities. And then, one of the nice little techniques here is if you go to the more for this program, I want to find a end carriage, or return carriage, at a space. Tell it to only do it for the selections I make. And then I go all the way down until I find the next ability, and I give it a line space, replace all. That's how you can easily collapse those things. Alright. So we're going to copy this into here. And then I wanted to note that this is actually a subsection. So, subsection. And normally you'd name it like, uh, Improved Arcane juggle techniques, or whatever you want to call them. Most of the time only fellow data monkeys are going to be coming in here and reading this. So you just want to make it self-explanatory and easy to figure out. And then assuming you get everything in place, we we'll come in here, let's see, we got race ability. We'll just use race ability. I go in here, just rename this to class ability two S's. And then class ability. Copy. And we don't need that extra space in there. Source page. So we'd like to know what pages these things are on. Okay. Replace, 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 and replace. And now I have a nice little quick template here. And with these X's, I can replace those with the, um, the name of the class. So we tell it Arcane Juggler. Replace, replace. And now I have all my class abilities already named. And you can clean this up if you want, or you can leave it as is. And you simply take the name of the ability here. And now these are going to match up. And then all that's left is to actually take whatever bonuses might be in here and apply them to the character. And I think that's enough time to, to actually show you how we did that. The only thing I don't like is I don't like that space there. You should never begin or end with a space uh, with your tags. That's one of the no-nos of the program. So we save that. We save that. And notice that these names are going to match up. We got our abilities. And we're going to want to put the define in the bonus ability pool in the Improved Arcane Juggle. So we'll go to the end of here. And now the ability contains everything we need. Cleans this up, and we can go ahead and... Juggling Tumble. Delete that. And keep this nice and clean looking. I highly recommend using blocks. Because if you go in here with pretty list, 
it will um, sort things for you and the bonus bars will be somewhere in a line and then the abilities will be elsewhere in the line if you have templates or anything else. So if you put each grouping in its own little category under a block, it keeps it all nice and consistent and clean. And don't forget you're going to want a source page on here. Of course it's a little hard when you're using the errata, uh, but it actually does have a page right there for us. Isn't that nice? Yeah, I think my uh, PDF program is slowing up on me. So this is on page 272. So we just do 272. And that is how you make a basic class, tie it in with the abilities, and I think that's it. If you have any questions, go ahead and uh, leave comments or come to our Yahoo group, uh, the PC Gen Yahoo group, and uh, just send me a, a message whenever you want. I hope this was informative and helpful. Tune in next time.